Valior. Guardian Angel. She wouldn't let you die. She saved you. She helped you cheat death again. She wouldn't let you die. You must have been tired. Tired of fighting. Of running. Of living. What's it like to escape death when it's all you desire? What did she have to say to you? Do as he asks. Give Deimos what he wants. Trust me. It's all going to be okay. That we were going to Zurich. To stop Hendrix. To stop you. To end it. the final stage I guess life source with Hendrix as my vehicle I stand giddy towards coalescence leaving pandemonium in my wake Zurich was one of the few remaining standing cities with control over my undead army and the city's robotic security force I decimated it in hours. I needed to separate you from your guardian angel, Cain. I didn't have control over her. And she was pulling my power from you. That would come later. I taken coalescent headquarters surrounding it with an impenetrable armada. But I waited for you. I was so curious. I was in your head. But I couldn't take control. I wanted no. I needed to know how before I opened the gateway. But before that, you had to get through my undead army. Come on, a freaking pistol? I need a big gun. systems have gone haywire. The vehicles, trains, power, anything connected to the grid is now a weapon at your disposal.
you used Hendrix's DNI to plug into the system. We could see that from the carnage you unleashed, but we didn't know how bad it was yet. WA Command came over comms. They were experiencing robotic system malfunctions all across Switzerland. And you built yourself a wall of robotics blocking us from coalescence.
my new gun. Nice. Okay. It's not working. By the time we made it inside, you'd extend it beyond Switzerland's grid. You'd seize control of WA Command. All remaining robotics protecting the world from the undead were now only loyal to you. You'd done it. It was the beginning of the end of mankind. All that stood between you and domination were the two women. And soon that too would be dealt with accordingly.
trapped us in a decontamination room. You released this chemical. 6115. The virus that caused the outbreak in Singapore. Then I had enough to wipe out all of Zurich. You had triggered multiple breaches and containment failures. I interfaced with the system to see how bad the damage was. sacrificed herself. The room was flooded with 6115, and the system reset was in there. But wait. No. There was a problem. What had you done? You lied. You tricked her. There was no breach. She sacrificed herself for... for nothing! I ripped her from you. She could toy no more in my affairs. The dose I gave her wouldn't even turn her. It would simply kill her. I will never understand your species. You sacrifice yourselves for so little. Look at her. She gave her life for something that would amount to nothing. You tie yourselves to emotions, forcing you to act impulsively, without considering what could happen. You give your lives because you believe there's something to gain. As if a heavenly body would fall to its knees and worship you for your good deeds. Keep moving. You're almost there. Do you remember this place? What happened here? You found Kruger, the one who rebuilt Project Corvus. It was time to open the gateway, and Kruger was proving difficult, unwilling to fulfill his task. But he was equipped with DNI like yours. There were easier ways I could persuade him. I could become him. I couldn't let you. I told Hendrix to stand down, or I'd take him down myself. You were desperate to convince him to open the gateway. You were relying on me being unable to shoot my friend, but I eventually did. We shot each other. I bled out on the floor and died, with Hendrix, stopping you! But now you will shoot first. Change the memory. Don't wait for him to turn on you. Kill him. Change your fate. Let him win. Everything will be all right. <laughs> Good. Now sacrifice yourself. Open the gateway. Do as he asks. Let him think he's one. Offer yourself to him. Wait. What? Where am I? What is this place? Hendrix? Hendrix? 